when I was younger, my father liked to take my brother and I to the landing zones whenever the helicopter was landing. So I was exposed to this occupation at a very young age. It was just always so fascinating to me and neat. It's certainly something he loved. And you know, it's one of those really fun and exciting childhood memories. And it always seemed, you know, really neat, but almost one of those unobtainable dream goals, you know, to fly on the helicopter and, and, and be one of those people that gets out, jumps in the back of the ambulance, and almost looks like, you know, a, a rock star in the end. Sergeant Joshua Chasen, and I'm a trooper flight paramedic with the Maryland State Police. You know, you're not as concerned with the salary, it's the satisfaction of a job well done, you're out there helping someone, and it's fun to do. While the missions we fly are very stressful and intense, you know, it, for us it's more of a choreographed sequence of events that's very calm and, and rhythmical for us. And, and that's where we really make a difference, where it's chaos for, for the victim and, and the witnesses and the associated people. For us, we come in and it's just kind of, okay, we're gonna organize everything and we're, we're gonna get you to the care you need or, you know, find the bad guy that committed that crime or, you know, hoist you off of that, that ship. And all those things, you know, we train for, we prepare for, and when we finally get to do it, it's, it's exciting and very rewarding in the end. The majority of our pilots are prior military, mainly because of the demands that we require from them. So most of those people come out of the military because it's very expensive to get those credentials out of your own pocket. The Maryland Army Guard needed pilots desperately. A few of us signed on and uh, sure enough, we, uh, we got accepted. We took a leave of absence from the state police. Here we are, you know, nine years later, plenty of flight hours to fly this helicopter and be a flight paramedic. Two combat deployments later and uh, it's really good to work for an organization that supports the military, uh, that you can live both careers, but at the same time, we can share similar experiences. You know, there's something bigger than yourself out there. There's always someone that needs help. And, you know, if you can help make that bad day a little bit better for someone else, whether it's just listening for a few seconds, holding their hand, taking them to the hospital or whatever you're doing, you know, that, that makes a difference in, in somebody's life. That's important.